What is up, guys? I'm back. Welcome back to TK's Garage. We have our repeater box right here. I have the keys to a Toyota right here. And we're going to leave them at the front door. And we're going to do the same process that we did with chargers and challengers and rams. Because somebody said, well, you can't steal a Toyota that way. Hmm. <laughs> probably work for Lexuses and other Toyota brands but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the keys right here same thing that most people do when they come in their house uh, walk out the door now I have no keys on me now keys are are sitting in there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over here and we're gonna see if the repeater box We'll keep that signal. I'm going to put it same thing as before up on top of the vehicle. And then I'm going to touch the car. And look at that. The car is now unlocked. Ooh. Ooh. I just did. This is the price of doing YouTube content. I think I just scratched the shit out of my mirror. And I'm keeping it as continuous video. Because I don't want to screw that up. Did I scratch the... Uh-oh. Um, I'm keeping it as continuous video because I don't want someone to be like, man, do 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 I'm going to go ahead and put the repeater box on the door so it still grabs the signal. And then what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and click the brake and hit the start button. Look at that. No keys present. Unbelievable, man. So this is really an issue because this just means that this can happen with probably almost every single brand. Let me get out to wide angle here. This is crazy. So what we'll do is we're going to close the doors now and then look. Key is not detected now. So I'm, gonna put, I'm leaving the repeater box over here. Now the key is not detected. Now, somebody told me that even if you were able to start it, that a Toyota would not go into gear. Well, I'm now in drive. <laughs> and it's going to bitch and complain. And it can bitch and complain all at once. We're going to go and put my seatbelt on. I'm just going to drive this thing around post real quick with no keys. Because people said... You know, you can't do it. It's a Toyota. You can't steal it like that. Well, here we go. This is a this is a Toyota Venza, and I'm now rolling it around post. 88,000 miles. This is kind of smooth, white being bullshit. I kind of like this. <laughs> I need to cut the mid mufflers out of this joint. Then it didn't have a nice little fart can sound, right? But yeah, look, I mean, I'm just rolling, man. It still says, if you look up there, key is not detected. I'm rolling this thing around. I'm going to roll it all the way around the neighborhood. And the reason why I'm doing this is because people said, well, it's a Toyota. After like two minutes, or I, some, I'm gonna, I, I need to post a comment so you guys can see it. But people were like, well, after two or three minutes, it's not going to let you do that anymore. It's going to shut off or it's going to lock out the transmission. Really? It, that's what it's going to do? It's going to lock out the transmission? I'm sorry if I don't believe you because uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing that. Not only is it not locking out the transmission, but this thing is just cruising along in the neighborhood with no friggin' keys. And I mean no keys. And I'm rolling around post like it ain't shit. And I'm pushing it hard too. I'm not even taking it easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm rolling. There's no speed limit. There's no power limit. So anybody, any of your Toyota guys, shout out to my dude ZTRD. He probably could replicate this. Maybe I'll do that when I get to Houston. We'll, we will steal ZTRD's Camry. <laughs> but 
Look, man, if you got a wireless key fob, if you got a key, if you got keyless entry and a, a wireless key fob for your car where you have a push button start, evidently your shit could just be stolen like this. This is insane. This is insane. So I, now I got to test this with my Mazda. I'm going to have to test it um, with the push button Suburban, which you guys haven't seen yet. Um, I'm going to have to test this with a bunch of brands and see who actually doesn't let this stuff fly because this is ridiculous i mean for real this literally makes no sense the fact that you know i thought it was literally i did i thought it was just a a dodge thing right and now if you have one of these you know key repeaters or if, you know a car thief has one of these key repeaters they can literally just take your car for the record you can see it right here it says key is not detected and I just took this thing on like a three and a half mile little jaunt and the key ain't present. But now, you know, it's getting backed into a chop shop and it's about to get cut up for all of its very valuable Toyota parts. Doesn't that suck? So, what did we learn today? Well, we didn't keep it as long as other ones, but this is just to let you know that um, one, these boxes suck. The fact that somebody can just buy one of these, I'm not even going to say where you can buy it, but just the fact that somebody can buy one of these and figure out how it works and tune it, you know, I'm not even going to talk about specifics, but how the fact that somebody can just buy one of those boxes, right? And your keys are in the house and somebody can just unlock your car, start your car and drive off is massively massively concerning the fact that the government hasn't outlawed these boxes blows my mind I, I don't i don't get it i don't understand it i don't know how in the hell this is still a thing but if you learn something today my toyota family because i didn't want to leave you all out let me know by clicking the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh yeah i gotta use my camera as a mirror you know i gotta you know <laughs> Anywho, hit that hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank y'all very much for watching. If you learned something, share the video so that other people can see this and other people can see that this is not just like a Mopar issue, it's a Toyota issue. Oh yeah, guess what I found out? It's also a BMW issue. Oh oh yeah. And uh I guess I'll find out tomorrow if it's a Chevy issue. This is ridiculous. This is just such bad design. Hmm. Huh. Oh well. Make sure you lock your stuff up. I'm going to do a video on how you can protect your wireless keys in your house from being repeated from outside of the house. That video is coming very, very soon. Anyways, guys, till next time, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Woo